Hi. Now we're going to attach the angle brackets to the motor mounts. <laughs> we'll use the 632 bolt, uh, 632 by 3 eighths, and the angle bracket. And we'll put the 632 bolt through the motor mount from the side without the motor towards the side with the motor. And we'll put the angle bracket on the side that has the motor. So it'll be over the motor and it will be going uh, angled to be more over the motor. So not like this, not like this, not like this, like this. This way is the right way. And we're going to use our fingers to spin the 632 bolt and try to catch the angle bracket, uh, the hole in the angle bracket. The angle bracket actually has threads in that hole, so the 632 bolt will catch and eventually it will work its way in. And actually that one was pretty easy. Um, the main thing that we're trying to do right now is make it so that the angle bracket doesn't fall off immediately as soon as you let go. Um, and I'm going to try to do the same thing with this other angle bracket. So we're doing this through the two holes that don't have, uh, that are not part of the face. And I'm going to go through the second hole and try to finger tighten. And that one also worked. Um, and actually now I'm coming across a little bit difficult, uh, more difficult of a part. So I'm going to use this. This is the Allen wrench that also came in that bag. And it goes into the head of the, uh, of the bolt. And you can use it to spin and tighten down the bolt into the, the angle bracket. Um, we do not need to make this so tight that you can't move the angle bracket anymore. Eventually the angle bracket's gonna uh, end up roughly in this position instead of like tilted over here or over here. But it's okay if, uh, it's it's actually better for now if it's, it's kind of loose and it can move around as long as it's not so loose that it falls off. So yeah.